party, isn't it, with some rich guy from Watford, but her sister is gets off with him. No! Then this guy's best mate is start ragging on her, saying she's a ferocious minging dog. You lying! So they start hanging around together a little bit, and she's treat him nasty like Richard is treat Judy, and then he has asked her to marry him. That is so fierce. But she's run off with some soldier she met at a club, and then the soldier beats up on her, so she comes home, and now she says she will marry the geezer. And you're saying this is called Pride and Prejudice? By Jane Austen. I've got to stop doing my English homework on the bus. Come on, Bravo High! Come on, Bravo High! <sighs> Latrina, I have one thing to say to you. You are displaying the tribalist mentality that is typical of organised sport. And it is divisive, aggressive, and potentially violent. And I have one thing to say to you, Nutella. Come on, Bromwell High! Is come on, Bromwell High? I didn't know you liked basketball, Headmaster. I don't really, but I got 10,000 on the game and I can't cover the stick. Well, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and sometimes you're killed by the crime syndicate with whom you placed the bet. No, it's proper turf accountants. Theirs only take the tips of your finger. <laughs> Looks like we're going to lose again. But crap. Mm. K-R-C. Crap. Bravo High is the best! If only Ayers could play for the school team. Like Leroy Thomas. Is she dead? No, just ugly. Who's going to replace a dead player? That's what I'd like to know. Me, me. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Me, got the girls, got me, the nerd, me, jumping girl. Me, me. There's mummy, me. the moo moo cow, possibly. Yes, I'm right, yeah. Okay, you're on. They went home ages ago. Stop! State your business, please. I'm Mr. Bibby, your geography teacher. OK, then. If you're a geography teacher, what is the capital of Spain? Madrid. OK, that sounds possible. Drive on. State your business. I'm Mr. Campbell, your English teacher. We don't need English teachers. English is a Mickey Mouse subject. Yes, I believe under the new corporate sponsorship guidelines it has been designated as such. Have you done your homework? I is asking the questions here. You can run, Keisha Marie, but you can't hide. I will hunt you down, I will find you, and I will punish you severely. And there's nothing in this world that can stop me. Get your business, please, old lady. I'm here to sack one of your teachers. Welcome to Bromwell I. And then they score again, and we is going to lose like Britney is lose Justin. Yeah. And then Kylie is get murdered, and I's come onto the court like Beyonce come onto Jay-Z. Yeah, yeah. And I's catch the ball, and I's throw it, but it's too late. And I's fuck it up like J-Lo is fuck it up with, um, everybody. Yeah, painful memories. So you definitely didn't see what I did with my whistle? No, sir. And now he's not ever going to be a school hero like Leroy Thomas. Oh, no, no, no. Just keep believing in yourself and keep training. All right? This should help. Oh, my days! It's... Yeah, an old vest I found in lost property. Leroy Thomas's old vest? No, I don't think so. Thank you, sir. I just treasure Leroy's top forever. I'm pretty sure it's not his. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, lady boys, listen to Iqbal. Morning, Morning, Morning headmaster. Three items. One, I has lost a large tiger, I think, near the science block. <sighs> Two, I is bored of life. I mean, what is the point, really? Uh, you said there were three items, headmaster. Oh, yeah, three. Our Ofsted inspector is visit to school today. Oh, no. oh, no! The Ofsted inspector is coming! Pull my pants! You're a bunch of queers! This is an outrage! They're supposed to give us six months' notice of an inspection! Ah, uh, they did. I forget to tell you. Oh, OK. And I has agreed that she can sack one of you lot as well, just to take a bit of heat off me. I don't think I'm running this place too good. It's fascism. If we were working in the private sector, we wouldn't have people checking if we were any good at our jobs. That's right. And we'd probably get about a hundred grand a year. Yeah, probably more, because we're graduates. That's right. Oh, no. Just because we're teachers, someone has to check up on us in case we're incompetent. Well, I hope she does sack me. I'll just go and bloody well get a job at ICI. Or a new media startup. You'd be good at that. He's always on that computer, morning, noon and night. Especially night. How'd you get a job? Does anybody know how you get a job? I bet the bloody photocopier repairman gets paid more than we do. Oi, matey, matey boy. Eh? Yeah, I'm talking to you. How much do you get paid, huh? Four pounds and an hour. And how much is that a year? About eight grand. What do you make? Yeah, well, you know, it's not as simple as that because uh, I do lots of work outside school hours. You know, I'm sometimes here till four, four thirty in the afternoon. Yes, sometimes I get home after countdown has finished. Yeah, and you try coping with 13 weeks holiday. During which you sometimes have to come into school anyway to stick up posters or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, God, it's bound to be me. You're all much better than me. I'm the worst teacher in the whole school. Hello, everyone. I just went to the toilet in my pants. Mm. Ah. <laughs> With Leroy's top on, I know I can be good at sports and make up for lose the match. Oh, don't beat yourself up about it, Latrina. There are plenty of other people willing to do that for... Although, I suppose the important thing is I tried. Uh, yeah, so don't beat yourself up, because there's plenty of... Trying your best is all you can do. Yes, and Somebody don't... got to win, somebody got to lose. Yes, but if you beat yourself up, and then don't bother, because there are plenty of other people... Oh, fuck it. gonna finish it in time for this afternoon. Mr. Campbell is gonna bust you down a year if you fail again. English should be so easy. I speak the bitch. Oh. I do hope that's not my English homework, Keisha Marie. No, sir. We're just smoking. Well, you better have been. Because if I find out you haven't done my homework, I'm going to... You're gonna what? I'm going to kill you. <gasps> oh. Not literally. Why are you in the girls' changing room? Hmm. Yes, it, it looks bad, doesn't it? A bit! Mm-hmm. OK. I'm going. Well, Keisha, it looks like you're gonna have to do your homework for once. Oh, my days! Well, it's either that or hiding in the toilets all day. <laughs> Gentlemen. Oh, these kids is like my own children. Except I'm not banned from going within a mile of the houses. I think it's so important for a head to have that sort of relationship with his pupils, to know all their names. Hey, Cockface, get to your class. <laughs> now, why don't I sit in on a few lessons and decide who to sack? Right, um, yeah. <clears throat> Who can, uh, who can tell me what is the thing of when, like, a circle has got that thing across it, of the angle? A quadrant, sir. No, you idiot. Quadrant? Yes, yes, it is a quadrant. Well, fuck. Well done. Um, good. Right, now, yes, the thing. What's the thing with the thing? A bisector? Yep, yep, this is great, kids. This is it. We're really getting along now, aren't we? Oh, oh they're, they're a great bunch, really. A lot of fun to teach. So, am I better than Phillips? Maybe. Yes! 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 I might be better than Phillips! Fuck you all, you fucking dumb fuckers! <laughs>
And that's the industrialization of the Ruhr Valley in a nutshell. And while we're on the subject of Germany, can anybody tell me how tall Hitler was and where he lived? Nope. Well, he was this tall and he lived over there. Mm -hmm. If you think I'm going to let you examine my credentials as a teacher, you're sadly mistaken. If you don't understand something, you can find out the hard way like I did on Google. History is appalling, which is fine. Science is woeful, with occasional lessons woeful to very woeful. Ich bald don't believe in science, hocus pocus. It's all pretty terrible, really, but very much as we expect from an inner city comp such as this. All we demand from you is that you produce one Olympic athlete per year, and that's where your problems really lie. In the last five years, this school has only managed one Commonwealth bronze medal, and that was in shooting. You can't blame the kids. I'm not. Because the big problem here is me. I'm no good, and I have my hand in the till. It's all the fault of your PE teacher. Phew, that was close. So if you don't mind, I think it's time I paid a little visit to Mr Phillips. Ah, uh, you can use mine if you want. Uh, make sure you give a flush. Mr Phillips, he's your head of PE. Nah, don't mean nothing to me. You know, with Leroy's top on, I is feel I can do anything. I is finally going to be in a school team. Who would have thought one piece of clothing could make you feel so powerful? You are so bad. Mm, dirty. You ready? Bring it on. In that case, there's only one person standing between you and a place on the school athletics team. What's that then? You know, because, I, I mean, literally, I did it right there in my pants. So, you know. Right. Show me what you've got. One of these kids better be good enough for the regional athletics finals or you're in trouble. <laughs> oh, well done, son. Keep loose. <laughs> Even better. Keeping loose. <laughs> you have done this before. Remember to shower. Well, I'm afraid no one has reached the required standard. Not so fast. There's one person still to go. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Oi, you land in the pit where I can see you. A new school record! Hooray! What's going on? I've been training, sir, just like you said. Latrine has just saved your job. Hooray! I'm afraid not. As I was saying, no one has reached the required standard. What? What about Latrina? Oh, the athletes have to be black. I would have thought that was obvious. But that's just racist. What about Asian children? Well, they operate the stopwatch and sell refreshments. Come on, everybody out. What's going on in here? Everybody's hiding, miss. Hiding from what, may I ask? Different stuff. Kylie hiding from bullies, Belisha hiding from her maths exams. What are you hiding from? I'm hiding from Mr Campbell. He's a bad mother. If I don't give him my homework, he's going to bust me down two years and I'm going to end up back in primary school with Uncle Jermaine. Do you know, honesty is the best policy, Keisha. You can't hide from your problems forever. No, but if I stay here, I can hide from them till tomorrow. Mm. You better go and teach, miss. Not until the Ofsted inspector's gone home. As we don't even have one single child of appropriate ethnicity for the South London Athletics Finals this afternoon, I have no option but to recommend that Mr Phillips be sacked. I agree, if only to save myself. <sighs> Goodbye, old friend. We just have some fun over the years, innit? Yeah. Yeah. Remember that time in the gym when we got... Oh, yeah, the time in the gym, whatever. Stop! Latrina's discovered something! I might be black! Oh! <gasps> Hickory dickory cock! How do you mean? Well, according to my mum's diaries, there's a 17 in 28 chance that my dad was black. <gasps> You're in? Ooh! There's also a 1 in 28 chance that he was Delroy out of five star! This is your last chance, oh. Phillips. It's you or Mr Jackson. If Latrina wins her race, you can stay. This is fun. Stay where? Yeah! That must have gone 80 metres. If you think I'm going to collect it, you can forget it. Mm. Keep loose. Hmm. Mm. That girl has real talent. She could ruin everything. 
Relax, Mr. Bibb. You is worried too much. If she wins the South London Athletics Trials, Phillips is off the hook and the heat will be back on us. Kill her. I think someone would notice if a child died, Headmaster. Not if it is run over by car. That is happen all time. Nobody is but eyelid. Same thing with drugs. No, we must find her Achilles heel and attack her there. Birdie. Now for hole number two. Hmm. Oh, straight down the middle. See that, Mr. Bib? It went straight down the middle. So you're a sprinter, are you? Yes, sir. And why shouldn't she be a sprinter? Aren't you supposed to be serving refreshments? No. Well, not until I finish time in this race. <laughs> <laughs> All right, champ. I'm a bit nervous, actually. You've got to get in the zone. The what? It's a moment of focus all great athletes have. How do I get in the zone? First, you have to empty your mind of all conscious thought. Okay, what next? Hmm. Please, Keisha. No. Oh, I'm bursting. Not my problem. Oh, but... Shh! <laughs> I can hear Miss doing a poo. <laughs> no, you can't, young lady. I just dropped my keys. Oops, there they go again. Yes! I made it through to the end of the day! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Did you really think you could escape, you foolish child? There's no escape from me! I'm your worst Ooh. nightmare, Keisha! Your nemesis! Your Gotterdammerung! <laughs> Butterfingers? Oh. Mm. They look a bit tasty. Yes. Bellatrina has trained carefully, and she has a secret weapon. Oh, really? Is it a giant laser beam? Like Goldfinger? Or was that Dr. No? I... A secret weapon is her confidence. Which one had the funny hand? With her unshakable <laughs> self-belief, she can't lose! Latrina, forget the top. But it's Leroy's top. Without Leroy's top, I got no chance. Latrina, listen to me. The top's not important. What? Your talent and determination to succeed comes from inside you, not from some magical vest. Hmm. Now get out there and show them what you're made of. <laughs> and don't forget the shower. Runners, take your ball. Victory eludes Bromwell High once more. I thought you said this is Lucky Top. Well, we've still got our jobs. Yeah, and some of our fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did really well. Every single person in this school is proud of you, Latrina. Latrina. <gasps> oh, my days. Leroy Thomas. I just wanted to tell you the whole school's proud of you. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. But you ain't black, girl. <laughs> now, has uh, anyone seen my top? Hello, sir. Oh, I bet you kids had some nicknames for me, didn't you? No. I know what you kids get up to. I bet you called me Funny Face Phillips, didn't you? We didn't call you anything. Mr. Shit Lips, I bet, was one of them. We never talked about you, sir. Here comes old shitty shit lips, you probably used to say. We didn't even know your real name, sir. <laughs> Mr. Phillips. <laughs> Phillips? Sounds like shit lips. <laughs> Why are you going home early, sir? They fired me. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Oh, I wish they'd fired Mr. Campbell instead of Mr. Phillips. 
Kisha, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yep, my shoes is on the wrong feet again. Miss, Mr. Campbell offered to sell me drugs. Good. That's a valuable life lesson. And, uh, he wants me to become his child bride. Well, he's showing a remarkable sensitivity to culture where, as I understand, young children enjoy getting married to fat, older men. Hmm. But that means I's after going to do his own work. Did you say homework? Yes, miss. What does he expect you to do with this homework? To finish it and hand it in, and then he marks it. I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with the phrase. You know, marks it, right or wrong. This man is teaching you that certain things are right or wrong. Yes, miss. <gasps> that is so wrong. <laughs> and if it wasn't for this stupid but ultimately very brave child, no one would have discovered that you were setting homework. OK, so what's my punishment? Slap wrist? Oh, you're fired. Did I not say that when you came in? I thought I did. You can't fire me. I've only had seven warnings. <laughs> Oh, and now he's dead. It's like midsummer murder. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness! Can you can you really do that? Oh, uh, no! I suppose I shouldn't have. <laughs> I teach my kids not to smash anyone in the face with a bottle, and now look what I do! I has really let myself down. Call him the caretaker. Ooh. <laughs> and when you finish that, there's a leaky tap in the joint. And then I lose all my confidence. Yes. But then I get confident again and run the race. Yes. But then I come last in the race. Yes, Latrina, we know. The main thing is you learned an important lesson. Yes, and that lesson is this. You can achieve any goal in life as long as you always have a magic vest. No, that's not it. And I learned if you don't do your own work, you'll get in big trouble. Mm-hmm. Unless you get someone to kill your teacher. <laughs> Again, not really. And I've learned that despite the differences that exist between pupil and teacher, between young and old, we're all one big happy family underneath. Piece of shit lips! Oh, you jokers. <laughs> don't I go? <laughs> <laughs>